in the very beginning, I think that, you know, people are on different pages right off the bat. There are some engineers, there are some scientists, there are some artists. Undergrads rarely interact with graduate students or postdocs, and getting to know these professors on such an intimate level was really amazing. This project is a little bit different than the usual kinds of things we do. It's very experimental and unstructured. Artists and scientists have had a long legacy of working together to explore ways that we see, and one doesn't have art without the brain to perceive it. Duke is a spectacular place because it really is one of the most collaborative academic institutions, I think, and this program really highlights the way that people can work together. I spent a lot of time looking at art and then figuring out how to talk about it. And so in the very beginning, Marianne and I were doing a lot of the talking, and only later did they realize that they could join in just as well in that conversation. The art students are working in this project not really as our direct students, but rather our colleagues and collaborators. I have learned a lot from the students who have worked on this project. Vast Connections was really a great opportunity, experiencing interdisciplinary research from the ground up. I know that the faculty members on the team are mentors I'll have for the rest of my time here at Duke and probably beyond. I think one really interesting aspect of it was seeing how a lot of the work from artists has now been incorporated into science, examined more thoroughly by the vision experts. I really wanted an in-depth understanding of the visual pathways behind luminance perception and color perception. I work with patients with problems in the retina and the brain, so it really helps me develop clinical trial protocols that are scientifically valid. I think that art is a really good point of commonality. Everyone has experience with taking in a visual scene and. Um, being moved by it or using certain cues in the visual scene to come to a conclusion about how to act. And one key contribution of vision is the realization that what goes on in your head is the interplay between how your brain works and the physical objects in the world. It would be a great success to be able to take a lot of these broader topics that we've learned and really apply it to the way we've organized the artwork in the exhibit and have our audience really understand these topics as though they've like, traveled through this process with us. For these two paintings, I was thinking that we would put them along here, and I think I was thinking more towards the middle because it's one of our like main works that really, I guess, brought our group together to really think about these concepts. It's my absolute pleasure to welcome you today to this symposium, Seeing Color, Art, Vision, and the Brain. You know, at the beginning of the project, our students were a little timid and now they're interacting with eminent scholars today in a way that shows that they understood what they learned all this year. I've really enjoyed seeing how people have been reacting to our program and what we've done all year. All these people are here to see our work and what we, our ideas and how we put them together. It's unreal, it's awesome.